I'm here again with Dan Russell. And that last one was too easy. Shortest U.S. president. We found it in like two seconds. That's right. So, so give, 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 give me something harder. Okay, let's try a, a more difficult question where you're comparing, say, the population growth of two countries. Okay. So let's look at, for example, the population growth over the past five years of India versus the United States. India versus, so you want me to answer, I guess, just find out how they grow or compare. Yeah, exactly. Which, okay. which has had the highest rate of growth over the past five okay. years? I would guess it's India, but we'll, we'll like, see how, by how much. Population, population growth. I would write U.S. versus India. Okay, that's a reasonable search. All right. U.S. versus if future fertility and immigration may play major roles in the nation's growth. Let's see. Now but look at that. As we were talking about last time, yeah. that's what that's scribed. Scribed. Would you believe a result from scribed or not? I don't know. I'm actually not so web savvy. Okay. To even okay. Sh should it scribed like a well-known site? It's it's a it's a pretty well-known site. Yeah. Oh, it is. Okay, so maybe maybe it is. Um, or is well, it like a crowdsourced it? type of thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Mm, okay. So this oh this is some kind of like presentation mm -hmm. by someone. Mm -hmm. um, that's what Scribe does, yeah. Oh, they allow you to put your presentation exactly, on. Oh, that's exactly. useful. Uh, India's estimated population would be 1.2 billion by 2010. India became the second country in the world after Chicago cost 1 billion. The sex ratio, number of females per thousand males, mm -hmm. population was 933. Okay. 2.4, okay. All right, two other categories. Uh, okay, right. you can look here now yeah, for, for quite a while. I, we I need something like more hitting, dense. Yeah, I'm feeling like I'm hitting a dead. Yeah, I mean, it might be in here someplace, but this doesn't seem like so a... So it's an important point for doing these kinds of searches mm, yeah, is that you don't want to get stuck in a rat hole. Yeah. You want to be able to sort of, you know someone's collected this information. Yeah, yeah. You just need to find it. Effects of growing populations. Comparing population growth. That looks good. That looks great. And it's, it's by a site visualizing economics. And this Sounds like what you it, want. It looks like a legitimate site. I don't know. Okay. You know, And she even has a legitimate name. Catherine Mulbrandon. Sounds very Sounds authoritative. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see. So this this looks pretty good. Um, wait, wait, let me see. Let me get rid of this little thing that's popping up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is this? Is population growth over the last 500 years. Okay. So this might not be as granular <laughs> as we're hoping. <laughs> okay. It's an interesting point. I mean, yeah. Now you need not just the information, but the yeah. kind of information you're looking yeah. for. So over 500 years, it does, this does, and this is actually just giving the absolute number. So we're really concerned more is right. almost the, the slope of this line. That's right. More That's than right. the uh, the percentage slope. And you slope. can kind of eyeball it and see that U.S. This is growing a little slower than a India, lower but it would not, it'd be nice to have the resolution to actually tell. Right, right. And actually percentage, because the percentage is slightly different than slope. So it's, right. it's, it's uh, and this is actually only until 2000. Right. This is only until 2000. So I mean, the simple answer, we're getting hints that it probably is what we thought right. it was, that India That's is growing right. faster, but... Um, so at this point, I'd go back and yeah. try another result. Yeah, let's see. Extra growth, China versus India. So let me, maybe I could just do them separately. Okay. So population. That's, a, that's actually an excellent idea because sometimes it's easier to find a single piece of data yeah. and then collect that and then compare right. it with the other single piece of data. Yeah, it would have been awesome if someone happened to write like a right. treatise on the population growth of And uh, we have the a Wikipedia article about the demographics of India. That sounds like it's going to give you the answer. Let's see. Don't help me too much. Okay, so India's estimated 1.41% growth rate in 2009. That's right. All right, so maybe we can at least, maybe, maybe the, the, the US one will have the same. Okay. Yeah, look up demographics of, so it's kind of a search within Wikipedia. That's we'll, right. Let's, let's really mix it up. That's a good point. Wikipedia has its own search, so you never have to leave Wikipedia. There are reasons why you sometimes uh, want to do that. The United States. I should have written demographics, right. but maybe they are. They're smart. Well, let's see what it does. Demographics of the United it States. Got what you wanted. Yep. Okay. So let's see. But they, it's not the same identical article, so they nope. didn't write. Okay. So I'll just remember that it was one point four percent for. And now, in fairness of being search agnostic, I was doing a little bit of yep. Bing. Let me do okay. a little bit of Google now. Let's try that. All right. So let me do. So let me think. Okay. So U.S. population growth. That was that's at one point well, four in two thousand. So I wanted to point out one thing real quick. Mm -hmm. Back up just a little bit. Okay. In your query, uh -huh. go all the way back to population. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Now stop. Uh -huh. You see the graph right there at the very top. Population yes. United States. Click on that. And what you should end up is in the Google Public Data Explorer. And oh this yes. This is exactly yes. the graph we were looking for for the United States. And if you look on the left hand side, which you should always check because there's often useful things there, you might be able to change. For example, the pop U.S. here, this is within the United States, 
Yeah. But I'm willing to bet, since we've got this public data stuff, that you could compare India versus the U.S. Okay, so this is, this is all within the U.S. I mean, right. if I click chart needs more information, population yeah. of the U.S., how do I navigate this? Is that a good Click up there, yeah. Public data, right. public data. Oh, this is neat. This is like the Hans Rosling type of. Exactly, yep, yep, exactly. Yep, yep, this is all Very lots good. of different kinds of collected data. And okay. so what you want is something about world population, World, so these are the sources. That's the sources. So the World Resources Institute sounds mm -hmm. like someone who would have world. That's that's what I would click on first. World data. Okay, but now we've got greenhouse gases yeah, no, and no, emissions. No, no, no. That's that's now, not. One well, metrics would be more useful. Metrics, mm -hmm. as opposed to where you know. I so let's see, uh, OECD fa fact. Yeah, that or World Economic Forum. Okay. or one of those things. Yeah. Oh, but this isn't this isn't actually going to plot it for us. Well. Once we go inside the data, that's what it does. This is public data that's collected and allows you to visualize it. Okay. With either the line graph like we saw before or with uh, like the Hans Rosling yep. bubble chart kind yep. of thing. But this, for me, this seems, I, I kind of feel like going back to the searches. Okay, let's go back to the this searches. This is kind then. of, I, I feel like I could dig in there for a long time right. and the search seemed Or more. you could click right there on that search tab and then it'll take oh, you yeah, right yeah. back to Google. Yeah. There you go. So if we go U.S. population... Population growth by year. That looks pretty good because then we could negative. So this is the NPG. What is the NPG? The N NPG. Well, we'll figure that out in a second. But this right. is good. Percent change. Right. And then this is by year. Oh, this That's only goes right. up to 1998. So, I mean, it's probably not that different, but we mm -hmm. could, you know, it's lower than India's, which is 1.4% right, in 2009 right. estimated. That's right. But let's see. Let's see, let's if, we see if we can get something for So let me recent. look up. Let me put 2009 there. 2009 and you're at usnews.com i mean that's that seems like a legitimate site yeah. estimate okay so here you go we have all the numbers we need to figure out the right. percentage population right. added since january 1 2008 and then so this is what ha what added over i guess this is added over 2008 right so you could do the math at this point yes to, yeah you know you might also try modifying the query and mm -hmm. add for example the word percentage yes so I don't have to do the math. Right. Percentage. Percentage. Let's see. U.S. population growth is among the highest. And this is an interesting article. Right. Uh, so I could just search. Let me search within and in that. Yeah, so I'll do right. a control F to Correct. search within there. Uh -huh. So what is it? What is it? Uh, population growth. Okay. Since so the vast majority have. Okay. The U.S. shows population increases of 0.91% for the 12-month periods ending July 2011. So mm -hmm. that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, to answer your question, I think we're feeling pretty good. We're doing India well. is above yeah. 1%. The U.S. is below 1%. By a lot. That's right. So, so we're and, and, and as we know from compounding interest, exactly. that's a huge a higher difference base. over many, many, right. over 10 years. You take them to the 10th power, that becomes that's a much right. bigger uh, absolute. Very good. Well, yeah, this was a little bit more challenging. But I think we found the answer. Yeah. Well, not, I want you to really stump me in the next video. <laughs> okay, we'll do that.